Beth Kruger, and um, originally uh, we lived in the gingerbread house in Weiss Grove. But I'm going to talk about the place next door. So, Ferdinand Green had something on his mind as he sipped his coffee and leafed through the Schenectady Gazette that Saturday, July 28th morning in 1923. President Harding had just returned from Alaska, he read. The New York State Attorney General had issued subpoenas in the pricing investigation of independent ice dealers. John Philip Sousa had drawn a big crowd and good review for his concert at the State Theater in Schenectady. And he also was taking a look at the various ads, and he made a note to tell the family that all wool bathing suits were on sale, <laughs> starting at $5.95, and swim caps were 25 cents at the Wallace Department Store. And he thought this might be helpful uh, going ahead. But as he, as he read the newspaper, he also uh, made a decision. He decided to go ahead with his plan. So on Monday, he bought a lot at Galway Lake or Amsterdam Reservoir, as some folks called it, for $100 from Sam Weiss. He put 25 down with an agreement to make three more payments of $25. The family had been vacationing at the various area lakes, and he thought it was time to have a place of their own. It'd be good, he thought, for his wife Libby to get out of the city, and their three sons, aged 19, 15, and 8, and their 10-year-old daughter. And by the way, he loved to fish, carefully noting in his diary the results of each research, as, uh, as we've heard sometimes about fishing here. Um, back in those days, getting a lot at Galway Lake then required extensive lot cleaning, tree and stump removal, uh, to get a view of the lake and a place to build a camp. They did it all themselves. So now they've got their place, and it turned out to be a good move. Two years later, they added two bedrooms, and he noted in his diary the cost of the lumber that he had purchased for this. Three years later, Ferd purchased the lot next door and then sold it to his friends, so he had more fishing buddies. They also became good neighbors with the people on the other side, the Krugers, who bought in 1924. Ferd and his wife, Libby's daughter, eventually married the Kruger son. And today, Ferd Green's idea for a summer spot as um, a gathering place is still creating memories for the family, now five generations later, um, celebrating 100 years this month. Thanks very much. I do have a, a, a picture, a couple of pictures of, um, of the place back in 1923 and 25.